stay tuned because we are going to roll into our review of Fallout yeah. Season 1. And uh, I'm going to hand this one over to Steve yeah. because I know Steve has really been wanting to to discuss Fallout. Um, so, Steve, set up set up this TV show. What, what do we? Obviously, you don't need to go plot by plot through every episode, yeah. but what is the big picture of the Fallout TV show? Uh, so there are three main characters and, and the show like purposely like kind of separates them into their own thing and eventually you know their stories cross paths the main character is lucy she is from a vault and raiders broke into her vault and kidnapped her dad and so she is going into the wasteland for, for the first time to try to find her dad uh we have maximus who is this idiot man child who works with the brotherhood of steel and i hate him and he is just kind of out there fucking around uh and then we have the ghoul who is a a, a pre-war uh guy he was a uh an actor who did uh whatever the 2070s versions of westerns were and eventually he became like the vault tech spokesperson and then when the bomb drops he got ghoulified and now like 220 something years later he is now out uh operating as a bounty hunter uh, so eventually these characters stories cross paths you find out they all are looking for the same person there is a a guy who has a MacGuffin and the MacGuffin was supposed to be delivered to the raider that kidnapped Lucy's dad and so they are all hunting for this MacGuffin because they want to be the one to either uh work with this raider person or kill them or take the MacGuffin for themselves. Uh, and I, it's eight episodes long. I'm not giving it eight hours of plot beyond yeah. that. That is the, I, I would say there's a fourth, a fourth story in this, and that would be Lucy's brother in yeah, the vault, sort yeah. of finding out what's yeah. going on with the vault. What as well. is his name? <laughs> this, I, I don't know. I mean, I forget his name. Yeah. Lucy's brother is, uh, so, so, so Lucy is from a vault that was essentially a, uh, it had an experiment, so it wasn't a control vault, but the experiment was very like mundane. Like no one was being, uh, yeah, you know, no one was being harmed by this experiment. Uh, but still, there is an experiment, and so Lucy's brother remain. He he is a coward. Like a coward. He is admittedly a coward. Like, he wanted no part. He was supportive of Lucy going out into the wasteland, but he wanted no part of doing that himself. Uh, and so he kind of uh kind of discovers his, his own uh, bravery within the vault because he figure, he finds out uh, what the experiment is, what vault tech really is, and he realizes that he's essentially you know trapped in a science experiment and there is very little that he can do to escape it. Yeah, so like Steve said, it's eight episodes long, of course, based on the long-running... Uh, video game franchise and I, it was interesting because I actually after I finally finished this series and I thought this was be something I was going to binge and I'll get into a little bit the reasons why I think I was not as enamored with this show as you guys are I think it's a me problem not necessarily a show problem um, but I did uh, watch a YouTuber who said there seems to be you know for the longest time video game media content in terms of like films tv shows was always viewed as awful it was always awful there was never anything that was like well yeah mortal Kombat back in 1993 or whatever is like the best thing that it's ever been on video games and even that movie's not that great uh but we're starting to sort of like turn that corner where people are like this video game stuff they're actually starting to do it right whether it's the last of us or fallout or some of this other stuff um so i'll be interested to see if with more properties but uh jeff Give me your thoughts on Fallout, the TV show. I thought it was uh, really good. And I thought that, no, I didn't binge it either. Like I don't sort of, my my evenings aren't typically configured like that, where I just want to have the attention span to watch watch it, you know, all in a row like that. So I just, you know, one, one every couple of nights until I got through it. There's only, what, eight of these eight episodes. Um, thought it was very good. I, I enjoyed the way that they incorporated stuff that you recognize from Fallout if you've played the video games like, like we have. And then my, my wife who, uh, she enjoyed the show as well, but she hasn't played the games. So she didn't like pick up on some of that stuff, but the stuff that was in there, they were nods to the video game without being like cringy and stupid. Like you would see like a, a head get blown off and you're kind of like, Oh, that was like, like in vats or like you would see, um, Lucy help some people and then down the, road they'd like look at her and smile and stuff and you're like oh her reputation has increased with this 
this faction, <laughs> stuff like that. Like it seemed pretty intentional to me, but I think it was all really well done. And, uh, I, I felt like I was interested in all, all characters. I didn't think there were any, even like the flashback scenes with the, the guy and his wife or like uh, Maximus. I was interested in all these, all these people. There, there wasn't really a weak link uh, among them for me. So I, I'm not like super, I'm, I don't want to overstate it. Like it was, it was good. I don't think it was like perfect by any means, but it was, it was really good. And I liked it a lot. I'd certainly recommend it to anyone. Okay. Steve, your thoughts. Well, I loved it. Like I, I, when this, when this dropped at like whatever, 8 PM, my time, whenever it came out, I think I stayed up until three or four in the morning wow. and got, <laughs> got through like six episodes and then slept for an hour. That's crazy. And got up and watched, uh, watched the last episodes. Like I loved it. I, 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 my, my only complaint would be like, I wanted more. I wanted to see more fallout stuff. I wanted to see a death claw. I wanted to see more of what vault tech is up to. Uh, I thought it was fantastic. Even Maximus. And I hate Maximus, but I feel like, I feel like the show. Yeah. Maybe we'll get back to it, but Maximus him. is one of the, I found him pretty interesting. Cause like, I don't know if the guy's doing a good job acting or not, but like, you don't quite know how to take him. Like, is he just a, a person who grew up, grew up in a world where he's doesn't know how to act and all the, all these things like, I, I didn't know how to take him. He kept me guessing. Yeah. I, I, hated him because he was this like annoying uh -huh. naive man child who just continued to like fail upward uh but you know you were talking about oh oh this this headshot's like vets uh there are a lot of people that equate the maximus character to someone who took like the idiot savant perk <laughs> they're, they're <laughs> just like they're just <laughs> naturally funny. lucky and so it's like i i hate this character but i almost feel like i meant to dislike him and i i meant oh, yeah. to I mean, he's not dislike like... him but like you know be invested in his story and want him to get better and i absolutely am i want maximus to be a hero or at least more heroic in season two um i thought this was great mm -hmm. loved it i i hate that it's probably going to be two years before we get another season of this okay i did not love this show um and i'll, I'll sort of I'll give some context behind this because I, like you, Steve, I love Fallout. I, I've played all the games, even all the one, the original ones, um, back in like the '90s. Um, I, you know, on my Pentium 75, was playing <laughs> Fallout. Never completed them by any means, uh, but I, but I just love the world. Played Fallout Three, you know, New Vegas Four, and I've put like 1,200 hours into Fallout 76. I mean, so I'm coming at this. I was like, I love the world, and Alyssa loves the world and everything. So we are very, very excited to watch this. So I'm looking at our Discord, and everybody is just raving about this, right? Like, oh wow, this is so great. And I watched the first episode, and I was like, I don't think I like this. But That's I'm like, because I'm gonna... you're a contrarian. No, 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 no. I, I, but I'm like, I'm going to give it a shot. And I think I even mentioned, I was like, look, the first three episodes of Spartacus, I didn't really like those. And then episode four eventually hooked me. And I watched episode two. And I'm like, oh, gosh. And I, I started to realize why. And again, like I said at the beginning, this is a me problem. I don't think it's a show problem. I think this happens to has to do with the way I play video games. So, and, and Steve, you and I have had this conversation. When you play a video game, you play it for the story. Like you, you love the stories that go on and, and whatnot. I don't play video games for that. So whereas you might play Fallout for the story and all the little side quests and what those stories are, I just play Fallout to run around shooting things in a world that I like and killing monsters and, and doing that kind of stuff. So I, I realized quite quickly when I was watching this, I was like, I, I don't like the general stories of Fallout. Like I love the world. I love all of, I love how it looks like the, the art design and set design. It's impeccable. Like they nailed it. It's perfect. Everything looks exactly like it should in a Fallout uh, video game to the television. I mean, they did an amazing job tip of the hat to to the people who did that and i'm like i like everything i'm looking at but i don't care for the stories and i've told you this steve before i fucking hate the brotherhood of steel i hate everything to do with the brotherhood of steel well, they suck in this i hate them too in well this. and then and then like a third of the show that i'm watching i'm just like i hate 
Maximus. I hate watching people run around in power armor. I don't even play the game in power armor. I fucking hate it. <laughs> that's that's how much I hate all of that stuff in Fallout. And I feel like I was I was sitting here watching like this. Where is this going? Um, I got to episode four and I'm like, I'm still not on board. And I was, that's when I kind of stopped. And even Alyssa, she wasn't on board either. She just kind of like, I don't get it. Like what, what is so great about this? And, you know, it took me a while, but then I went back to it. And with episode five, that's what started to hook me in. Once every, once they really started showing the flashbacks to everything that happened pre-war uh, with the ghoul character and all of that, that's what started getting me on board. And I think like by the end of it, when all the storylines came together, I was fully on board with the show at that point. So um, the first half, I, I didn't really care for other than like the set design and just the, the typical stuff like Jeff was mentioning, the fallout isms that you would see. Um, and, but the last four episodes I really, really like. So it was kind of a mixed bag overall. And I also think what harmed my enjoying of this is I was watching Shogun at the same time and Shogun, which is another thing that I will review uh, for, for the uh, site here, Shogun's story and acting and everything is it's like next level. And then I would go like, I'd watch an episode of Shogun and then I would go to fallout and be like, this is why I demand more. <laughs> like I demand more from a story than what I'm getting from fallout, but eventually it got there. Uh, I'm interested to see season two. Of course it ends with new Vegas. Uh, they're looking at new Vegas. So where, where that goes, I'm, I'm fully invested on board with season two, but I wasn't super enthused with most of the characters. Even the ghoul, honestly, I I liked him better when it was the flashback stuff, when he was pre-ghoul, when he was a human, more so than I liked him when he was an actual ghoul. Um, so I don't know. There wasn't a character in this that I really latched onto, although I guess I probably kind of liked the stuff in the vault too with the mm -hmm. brother that we don't know, trying to figure out what that was all about. Because I do like, you know, what were, what were the experiments going on in the vaults? That was more interesting to me uh, as a part of the show than anything that was going on in the actual surface. Um, so those are my thoughts. I don't know. Uh, Jeff, is there anything further that you'd like to elaborate on that uh, the show that you liked or disliked? No, yeah, I, I, I don't have any. Uh, I would not uh, contest your, your opinion on it not grabbing you at it by any means you know that's the thing about the games and like the 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 worst part of any fallout video game for me i've played new vegas a half dozen times uh the worst part of it is when you get to the end and the game sort of forces you because the whole point of the game is like you can walk around and do what you want like you said you can walk around and i'm interested in doing this i'm going to go over here and do that i'm not interested in doing that so i'm going to skip it um when you get to the end of the game they kind of they have to end the game. So they write something and you're like, you get three, four, you know, maybe even a half dozen choices, but, it, but you, you look at them and you're like, well, none of these is what I would do. Uh, and, and that becomes frustrating. So I could see you uh, loving the games, loving what you do in the games, but then watching a show where it's scripted for you. And you're like, well, that's not how I would play fallout. I would, I would yeah. go do something else. If I would walk the other direction, if I was in this show and, and I could see that being like, you know, just doesn't, doesn't grab you necessarily. Yeah. And again, I think it's a me problem just yeah. with how I play Fallout games. It's it's not a slight on the show. Yeah. And I definitely think people who really like the show, there's a lot to like in it. Um, Steve, were there any other thoughts? Was there anything you, you didn't like, particularly didn't like about the show or anything that you really specifically loved about the show? Oh, I... I I I think I loved all of it. I think my my any like things I didn't like would be very nitpicky, but you mentioned that they're... Uh... The, the inn sets up New Vegas. And I think if I if I had to pick something that I really disliked, I I think it would be that yeah, I, I'm very I I wanted a Fallout show set in the game world because you know you could there's you know what, forty five states that haven't been touched on in the games. There's, you know, a hundred vaults that we haven't seen. You could make you could take a you could set a Fallout story anywhere and it could still be in the game world and be a part of the lore and i love that but i think i dislike that they are somewhat heavily tying it to the new vegas storyline i think i'd prefer if they had done that if they had completely done their their own thing uh but you know whether or not that becomes something that i really dislike will depend on season two 
Yeah. Uh, but, you know, I, I, I think the show is fantastic. I do think it's interesting uh, that now that you and Jeff have brought it up, like there, I mean, there is, there is kind of a disconnect between taking an open world game and like turning it into a show where the story has to be linear, unless they're <laughs> going to go next level and have some fallout, choose your own adventure show at some point. Uh, but that, that is, that's an interesting thought, but I, I, I don't know. I, I still am fully on board with the show. Loved it. Can't wait for more. Don't fuck it up. Yeah. I think I saw an interview just recently with Todd Howard, because of course everyone's asking <laughs> him about, everyone's asking him about the show. Cause I mean, and for what it's worth, the numbers of people playing all the fallout games now is like skyrocketing. Mm-hmm. They just announced like they had a million fallout 76 players in one day over all the various systems consoles and computer and stuff which is just insane um so it's you know everyone's asking for his opinion known liar todd todd howard uh just <laughs> let's just you know, it we'll just works it you guys it just, it just works. works known liar and he's he said that he's cognizant of i think what steve's issues will be which is hey you know players who played uh new vegas you know, you pick a specific way, and to you, that's how the quote-unquote canon is of what happens at the end of New Vegas. But I think he said it's like 15 years beyond the end of New Vegas in the actual timeline, and he said that they're going to be very cognizant of whatever you chose that happened 15 years ago isn't necessarily what, um, you know things have changed in 15 years. So so the, the quote-unquote canon ending, whatever you want the canon ending to be at the end of New Vegas could still technically be the canon ending. It's just 15 years in the future and new circumstances have arisen yeah. that cause that to change. At the end of the Lonesome Road DLC in New Vegas, uh, you fight Ulysses and there's this new new group of monsters called the Tunnelers and they're super deadly. They can take out Death Claws. And, like, Ulysses hints that the tunnelers are making their way towards New Vegas. So I think they could easily just show that New Vegas has been taken over by these monsters. And then it doesn't matter who won New Vegas. The monsters are there now. Well, yeah. uh, cor- uh, like, correct me if I'm wrong, but New Vegas did like, I mean, like obviously, you know, it's, it's a fallout game. So Bethesda, they still, they're still going to be the ones who are publishing it, but wasn't it developed by like a completely different studio? Yeah. Um, like, Obsidian, not, not, yes. yeah. yeah. Obsidian. So like Todd Howard probably didn't have that much to do with it regardless. What is he doing talking about fucking New Vegas? Like that's the game that actually worked when it came well, out. God. It's, it's notorious that well, New Vegas didn't work. None, none of these games yeah, work. Absolutely um, not. The New Vegas <laughs> work a lot. Um, the the big thing about uh, Bethesda is you know because Todd Howard always has his games on the East Coast, and then Obsidian set and because uh, I think the people who did Obsidian didn't they? There was a bunch of programmers from the original Fallout games that worked for Obsidian at that time or something. They always set theirs on the West Coast. But the joke is, whenever in interviews in the past, people would bring up New Vegas to Todd Howard or anyone else at Bethesda, they get super pissed off and <laughs> butt hurt about it because all the fans of these games think that the best one is the one that wasn't developed by Todd Howard right. and all, all the other ones. And they're wrong because Fallout 3 is the best one. <laughs> but um, Todd Howard, I think, gets a little sensitive about it. But I think that they're – obviously, they're just – they're they're going full into it now. I mean, he could have easily said, yeah, you can make this TV show, but you got to leave all references to New Vegas and those assholes out of it. He could have oh, easily said that. Oh but God, he's, going full, he's going full Lucas. Oh, God. Maybe, maybe. So, but overall, yeah, it's on Amazon. Uh, Ronan, I'll ask you, are you interested? I know you're not a huge Fallout fan, right? Um, do you like the games at all? I know you've played a couple of them. I played Fall like, uh, so when Fallout 3 came out, I was just hot off the heels of Skyrim. Like, super fun game, Skyrim, and it actually worked when it came out. And so, uh, like, it's like Fallout 3, I got the Skyrim, so super fun. I was excited for Fallout 3 back in the day when I would get excited about anything. <laughs> and, it, it, and it came out i played it for maybe like two three weeks and i just had to keep restarting because the, oh, the game yeah the games yeah. kind of have like they they operate with it's it's both good and bad because there is a random element to placements of stuff i could never get my I, like the, just the leveling system the character creating system never really clicked with me the world was just a constant like the whole map was just the splattering of like ugly browns and grays and brown and 
great. And I was like, this, I don't, I'm not interested in any of this. And when I finally stopped playing was once I thought I was getting the hang of it. And I was wandering around like the beginner area. There was some giant super mutant that somehow spawned within about 20 minutes of the beginning area and just straight up owned me. I was like, nope, I took it out of the 360, never touched that shit again. And I didn't yeah. play a Fallout game again until the 76 was free for like a yeah. Saturday. And we you convinced see, you to play. And you and Steve were like, come on, I hop on, play. We'll show you around. And all I did was just kind of like have my character follow you for two hours. And you're like, so this is great, right? You're going to keep playing, right? So, That's and, awesome. And I uninstalled that shit and I never touched it again. Okay. So you have no interest to watch a TV show or, or do you have an interest to eventually see it? Probably not. Not even not even from that kind of just like pure hate, like, oh, fuck you, fall. But it's like, no, no, this is this just isn't something it's not really if my options were fallout and the like the second part of invincible season two and i went with invincible season two yeah sometimes the aesthetics of a thing just don't work for people Mm -hmm. you know i'm that way there are certain things i look at i'm like i cannot handle it the story could be great it could be awesome but i just cannot handle it anime is a big thing i just cannot i can't even watch star wars animes It, it just fucks me up too much i, I can't do it mm-hmm. um so but yeah so fallout the tv show it's good everyone should go check it out i think uh, especially if you like fallout um one thing i did love i love that they use the old music yeah um and, and whatnot and i love that they had the pit boys everything looked like it should like they didn't have some super upgraded screen or anything for the pit boys it looked exactly like they should even they, there was a you were talking about one of those moments uh, Alyssa and i both kind of like cheered at a specific moment when lucy's brother goes down to like to hack the terminal yeah, yeah. And you it's see the, all the literal words and stuff. it's yep. the literal hack screen from the games and, and everything like that those are the kind of things that like you like you said nods to the gamers out there that a person who doesn't watch the games wouldn't even understand what that was necessarily but it's something that's like oh yes that shows that they took the care and time and love to really take the elements that people loved about the games and put it into the show without being obnoxious. That's about a it, correct so. use of member berry. Uh, that's yeah. what that is. That, that's yeah. how you view it correctly. Yeah. You don't shove it into the frame, and so people will then cheer, like stand up and cheer when they see Darth Vader's lightsaber. No, it's just done in the background. Here's the Pip Boy thing. It's just really small in the back. Doo, 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 doo. It's like okay, yeah, that's that, that's proper use of your nostalgia. It's cool. So, Jeff, how a letter grade? How would you rate the first season of Fallout? I got to give it an A. I thought it was great. I think it, and I, I don't think the the production, like the way they pulled off the visuals and making everything look just right, I don't, I don't think that can really be overstated. Like how how difficult this was to realize this video. I'm sure that you know we have computers. It's all computer animated or whatever, but it all looks right. Nothing looks wrong. And yeah. which is even like the overseer's office. Yeah, yeah. It looks exactly like it does in the video yep. game. It's like great. Okay, Steve, your overall letter grade for Fallout season one. Oh, A, A plus. It's fantastic. A plus. Love it. Waiting for more. Cool. I'm going to give it a B minus. It would have been lower, but those last four episodes really got me on board. Uh, but again, that, that letter grade is it's mostly a me problem. It's not a show problem necessarily. Um, so yeah, go check it out.